Have you ever had that same old feeling about an old love that you met up with? I've had twinges, but I, nothing that I could really admit to or carry out, you know, follow through. How about you, Dennis? Well, I've met the love of my life, so I, you know, everyone else is, you know, a second place runner. That's great. So. Cheese sandwich. Yeah. Uh, tell me. <laughs> Can I quote you? Yes, yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, now, when someone takes a bad picture of me, I just, you know, rip it up and chuck it in the garbage. That's what I do. Hmm. But, what do you, how do you handle paparazzi? Well, uh, it's, is it the people or the pictures? How do you handle the photographers or how do you handle the aftermath of those hideous pictures? Both. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. I was sitting having a, a, a sandwich with my husband, uh, waiting for my daughter to get out of school. Just sitting there having a sandwich on the Upper East Side. And I saw a guy across the street with a long telephoto lens, and I said, Honey, that guy's taking a picture of us eating. And he said, You know, you are impossible. You think the whole world revolves around you. You, this guy's probably taking pictures of architecture. And the gargoyles on the top of that building, he's not taking pictures of you. And two days later, there was the picture in the Daily News. And I said, Look, here, hey, honey, look. He says, uh, What can I say now? I believe you. But that would hurt. <laughs> Well, I kind of, got, I've got it and gotten used to it. For, I, I used to say, oh, that's not me. And now I realize, well, it is me. It's, a, it's me. So that, you better, I have to make the best of it. And I do. Yeah, well, you, you have to what make the best do? of the situation. What are you going to do? Now, uh, you were a cop, weren't you? Yes, I was. Uh, yeah. A thousand the, years ago. How the heck like. did you change that into movie? Actually? Well, I met Michael Mann. You know Michael Mann? Yeah, Mann. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was uh, in Chicago doing a picture called Thief. And... We met, and uh, he gave me a part in that movie. One thing led to another, and the next thing I know, I was being sung to by That's right. the divine Miss Melba. It was a very short time, wasn't it? You don't do violent movies, Beth. Nope. Well, I did for the boys. That was war, but it wasn't really, you know, the kind of violence that you, you see nowadays. No, I don't. I have a real aversion to it. In fact, they asked me, I, uh, Rob Reiner asked me to do Misery, and I couldn't do it. I said, my fans, my fans. And my husband said afterwards, when Kathy Bates got the Academy Awards, you and your fans, <laughs> <laughs> look what you did. Mm. How come comedies don't win Oscars? I don't know. I don't know. They think that it's easy. I think the Academy thinks it's really easy, when really it's quite, quite hard. I thought what Eddie Murphy did this year was quite staggering, the acting that he did. But I, 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 was, I, I knew he wasn't going to get nominated. He should have. He should have. He deserved a nomination. He did brilliant, brilliant work. Quickly, what's next for you? Me? I haven't a clue. How about you, Dennis? I haven't a clue either. <laughs> Two <laughs> actors out of work. <laughs> but we look good. <laughs> Our time capsule today takes us back to 1986.